we all back to my channel infotainment in this video i will be showing you the method to compute the dft of the signals like del of n that is an impulse signal del of n minus n naught e raised to the power j2 pi n naught by capital n e raised to the power minus j2 pi n naught by capital n let us see one by one let us see how to compute the dft of del of n okay fine now the DFT, let us use the normal DFT formula that is summation and ranging from summation k vary from 0 to capital N minus 1 x of n is equal to summation k vary from 0 to capital N minus 1 let us use the normal DFT formula for the same x of k is equal to summation n varied from 0 to capital N minus 1 x of n e raised to the power minus j2 pi k n by capital N. Now x of n in this case would be del of n. In the case of del of n when n ranges from 0 to capital N minus 1 del of n e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k n divided by capital N. We know that del of n is 1 for n is equal to 0 and 0 otherwise. So the DFT of del of n would be 1 into e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k into 0 divided by capital N. Any term raised to the power 0 is 1. Hence the DFT of del of n would be hence the dft of del of n would be 1 this is an important result which will be used in the later stages when we solve the problems fine now let us see how to find the dft of del of n minus n naught again the formula remains the same capital X of k is equal to summation n varied from 0 to capital N minus 1 x of n e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k n over capital N. This is equal to summation n varied from 0 to capital N minus 1. I just substitute the law of n minus n naught in the place of x of n e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k n by capital N. So next this is equal to now del of n minus n naught will be 1 only when n is equal to n naught otherwise 0. So therefore this magnitude would be 1 multiplied by n is equal to n naught e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k n naught divided by capital N. That means what? The DFT of del of n minus n naught is e raised to the power minus j2 pi k n naught over capital N. Fine. So this also happens to be a very important result which will be utilized in the further videos where I solve the problems and here you can observe this, is, this also happens to be a property rather. You can observe that there is something called a shifting in time domain and you get e raised to the power minus a term. So let us see uh, this is in the later stages of DSP. Now let us see what happens to e raised to the power my e raised to the power j2 pi k naught n by capital N. So the formula again remains the same x of k is equal to summation n varied from 0 to capital N minus 1. In the place of x of n, I would be representing e raised to the power j 2 pi k naught n by capital N into e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k n by capital N which is in the formula. Okay, is equal to summation n varied from 0 to capital N minus 1. I just take the common in the power e raised to the power j. 2 pi 
okay what happens is here I'll take the minus out so that I get k minus k naught over here small n divided by capital N so I just did I just took the common like j2 pi and n which are common outside and I've written the reason I've written k minus k naught in between is just to maintain the format okay fine now once we are done with this I know the basic summation formula that is summation n varied from 0 to capital N minus 1 okay a power n is always 1 minus a raised to the power upper limit plus 1 n minus 1 plus 1 is capital N divided by 1 minus a so the same formula I just apply here in the place of a I have e raised to the power minus j2 pi k minus k naught divided by capital N now once I apply the same formula I will be getting 1 minus e raised to the power minus j2 pi into k minus k naught ok so k minus k naught divided by capital N raised to the power upper limit plus 1 capital N so capital N and this gets cancelled whole divided by 1 minus e raised to the power minus j2 pi k minus k naught divided by capital N ok I have just applied the formula now this is actually the solution of the sequence but here one thing which we need to observe is if k is equal to k naught then this entire term gets reduced to unity 1 minus 1 is 0 anything divided by 0 is not defined hence this will result the, here the expression will fail so now that means what this expression is valid only when k is not equal to k naught if k is not equal to k naught then this expression is correct if k is equal to k naught let us see how to solve I'll show you a simple method how to solve when k is equal to k naught let us substitute here if k is equal to k naught then k minus k naught is 0 because k and k naught are same hence k minus k naught is 0 so now j2 pi into n into 0 is, is obviously 0 any term raised to the power 0 is 1 correct any term raised to the power 0 is 1 now in in the case when k is equal to k naught let us see what happens that is equal to summation n varied from 0 to capital N minus 1 this whole term is reduced to 1 so I just write 1 okay Some, since the summation is starting from 0 up to n minus 1 and the summation is over 1 so therefore what do I do is it would be n minus 1 plus 1 if the summation was from 1 to 10 over 1 that means if you add 1 for 10 times then the answer is 10 so here I am adding 1 from 1 from 0 to n minus 1 number of times hence it is n minus 1 plus 1 means the upper limit plus this one so this would be capital that means the expression would be n when k is equal to k naught so now if I write in a simple manner the x of k would be the x of k would be 1 minus e raised to the power minus j2 pi into k minus k naught whole divided by 1 minus e raised to the power minus j2 pi into k minus k naught divided by capital N provided k is not equal to k naught when k is equal to k naught it is capital N when k is equal to 
K naught. Okay. So the magnitude is capital N. Hence, what do I do is I just write it as N into the law K minus K naught because K is equal to K when K is equal to K naught, the law of K minus K naught is one. Right? So this is how you compute the DFT of the sequence e raised to the power j2 pi k0 n small n divided by capital N. Now the important doubt which comes over here is how do you know that or when to decide whether there are two conditions to be followed or there are two different cases which arise or not. You always need to keep an eye on the denominator because if the denominator becomes zero then the answer becomes infinity and it is invalid. So you, you must always keep an eye on the denominator and then only decide whether you want to go for the second case or not. Now let us see how do I find in the case of e raised to the power minus j2 pi k0 divided by capital N. In the case of e raised to the power minus j2 pi k0 divided by capital N, the only changes what happen is here I just get a minus sign that is x of k is equal to summation n ranging from 0 to capital N minus 1. This will be x of n. Okay. And this is the one which is in the formula. Now here I get minus sign outside but in between I get a plus sign because I have minus sign in both the terms. Fine. Now here what happens is you have to correctly analyze. Here it is k plus k naught and there is no problem in this case. Okay. It remains k plus k naught so there is no issue at all. But the problem comes when I am finding the second case of it. So let us see what is the exact problem. Now, when I am finding e raised to the power j2 pi k0 n by capital N, that is the DFT of this sequence, I had the condition to be when k is not equal to k0 and when k is equal to k0. But now, here if you observe, it is k plus k0. So I just have to introduce a minus sign over here. Okay. Now, once I am done with this, it will be, in the second case, it will be k is equal to minus k0. But in this condition, I have to ensure that this value minus k0 is well within the range of 0 to n minus 1. In order to ensure this, I introduce plus n okay so when i add an n to the sequence then i am ensuring that it is well within the range of 0 to capital n minus 1 because we know that k must always be ranging between 0 to capital n minus 1 so in that case this would be dull of k plus k naught minus n Okay, I'm just shifting everything to my LHS so that I can write this sequence. Thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you have found it informative. Please press the like button if you have liked the video. Do share with your friends so that they can also learn. And if you haven't subscribed from my channel yet, please subscribe and do press the bell icon so that you would be notified when I upload the videos in the future. Please share your valuable comments in the comment section below. Thank you.